So can I take this off? Are you gonna be mad at me? Okay. Are you gonna keep yours on? I'll do this, I'll do the diaper. Oh, this is a <laughs> We got the three stages, like the diaper fully off and fully masked. Watch this. Yeah? Watch this trick. Do it. Wow! <laughs> what a rebel! Is that a pro voice? Damn. Yeah, if you wanna be in voiceover, you gotta learn how to Scott Damn! I feel like we're here, uh, and maybe only 20% of the people outside are actually inside. Is that line still as crazy as it was before? Yeah, pretty big, not so bad, you guys made it in. That's good, I'm glad to see you all here. Welcome, welcome, come in. Uh, we're technically two minutes early, shall we just sit here? What is that smell? It's pungent. That's the smell of anime, baby. <laughs> that smells way too nice for anime. Like, uh, gym class. Heroes? No. Gym class heroes? The, yeah, the gym class heroes. But I smell like a, a hint of high chew. Yeah. Yeah. It just smells like a con. Why do I feel like only like 10% of people can actually see me? I feel like I'm hidden. This is the opposite of an elevated stage. <laughs> it's the opposite of an elevated stage, it just slopes down. <laughs> yeah. So no one can see. Uh, we can you? stand at the podium and give speeches. Um, <laughs> yeah! Uh, Brand new game. Let's call this uh, and pre and President of Anime. Uh, everyone, welcome for your first candidate. This is the State of the Union <laughs> yes. address of anime. State of the Union address of anime. Whenever you're ready, tell us how anime is going and what you plan to do to make anime better. Pasadena Convention Center. <laughs> Congratulations, none of you got murdered under the inflatable All Nights. <laughs> you made it, you survived. Uh, my name is Robbie David, I'm a voice actor. I play uh, a bunch of characters. I play uh, my very first anime, since this is anime Pasadena, uh, was Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon. <laughs> Subway exploits. I am in the subway announcer in Shin Megami Tensor Nocturne 3. Yes. And Shin Megami Tensor 5. Wow. Woo! So, Ray is also in a movie called Licorice Pizza. Who saw it? Who saw it? Raise your hand if you've seen the movie. Uh, this is called Anime Velocity. That guy with the sign? Nice. All right. Uh, you will you will recognize Ray as the DJ in that movie. <laughs> Ray does all the promos. If you hear the promos for Licorice Pizza, give us a little bit of that. <laughs> I feel like you're my dad showing off. Uh, <laughs> my, friends at, uh, my friends at school 
don't care about. I'm very proud. And um, <laughs> I've heard his commercial on the radio no less than six times. Two of those times, he recorded it. When I got in the car, I turned on the car, and you were the voice coming out. Yes! Of <laughs> um, anyway, hi, anime people. <laughs> this is Matt. This is? You are. This is Max Middleman speaking. Give him all your non-anime credits first. All right, non-anime. I was in, um, I can only think of anime credits. <laughs> Which one? Miraculous. 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 What? Oh, Curious George. That was in Curious George. Uh -huh. And I was also in uh, uh, a Thundercast Roar. Uh, and I was also in uh, Elena of Avalor. Oh, I love the silence. Ooh, it's nice. <laughs> oh, I was also in uh, uh, the Emoji movie. I played additional voices. Judging by the applause, if there are a lot of them are gonna be about anime. Let's do this. But before we get started, where we open the floor up to you uh, uh, to ask us questions individually or as a group, uh, we're gonna play a little game first. Is that okay? Yeah! We're gonna play a little game called Three-Headed Experts. Uh, in this game, uh, Max, Ray, and I will unite as one. Come here, we have to we have to uh, no, Ray, come back. of the answers, mm -hmm. we are going to answer them right now. Correct. We will answer any question you have. One <laughs> word at a time. Yes. Okay. Got it? Oh. Okay. So uh, anything you want. It could be about anime, it could be about physics, it can be about the nature of the universe, it can be about whatever you like. We're the smartest being in the world. I don't believe there's 200 people in here and nobody has a question. Who's got one? Yes. Let's go. Right there. Sure, uh, advice for voice actors. If you want to be a voice actor, first you don't ever talk about voice acting. <laughs> Pitbull. We love pitbulls. <laughs> 
Yeah, so, so, so we chant his, chant his, chant his name, Pitbull. Pitbull, 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 Pitbull. The Pitbull problem that has not been canceled yet, right? Yeah, no, no. Okay, good, 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 Get him out of here. He's still in the show. You know what they say never work with kids, animals, or people. <laughs> Next question. Uh, right here. Cosplay advice. When you cosplay, you don't dress like yourself. <laughs> First, you put on a costume, then you make a another costume. <laughs> People love furries. <laughs> Can I explain magnets? Yes, of course. <laughs> magnets! <laughs> Our wisdom! Magnets are gravity! Magnets will love you! <laughs> North, South, West, East, those <laughs> are magnetic. They will crush your soul. Watch as you are devoured. <laughs> What is the best anime that doesn't exist yet? Somewhere in Japan, they uh, are making many anime. <laughs> One that I love the most is called my <laughs> chosen destiny is through the children. <laughs> Yes. Uh, up next, what's up? Who's got one? Kermit. How do you make a sandwich? How do you make a sandwich? How do you make a sandwich? I do the kind of voices. Well, you first make bread, then you miss the jelly. What? You mix the chili. You mix mix the chili. Sir. Spicy. <laughs> First you make bread, oh then you make chili spicy. <laughs> I'm a, what? I'm a spicy. Mayonnaise <laughs> never spoils. It is always tasty. Please don't. Right here, right here, right here, with this guy, right here. Alright, what's the meaning of life? The meaning of life? Yeah, 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 we gotta get to it, we get to ask this one all the time, we gotta get really serious about it. There is magnets. <laughs> They ask some real questions, and we'll break it up with game, another game in a little bit. Does that sound good? Sure. All right. Who's got a question for any of us that will answer for right real? there, Blue Mask? I yes. see you. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any like favorite characters that you've done so far? Favorite characters that we've done so far. Like, like, like uh, you're giving you, like it's the ending of like the Good Son, and I've got to drop my second favorite. Character. <laughs> Yes. Sorry, it's 30 years old. I think I can. I think I can spoil it. Um, 
I would have my favorite all time. I never do this. I'm gonna pick an, my favorite anime character because this is Pasadena anime, and I'm gonna pick uh, Shoya from A Silent Voice. Yeah. Uh, I I love anime and I like it when it gets complex and real and slice of lifey and all that stuff. And uh, it's one of my favorite performances and uh, probably my favorite character. Ah, I never answered that question. How about them apples? He's my favorite. <laughs> He's my <laughs> Filmed by seven separate people in the first couple of rows. Yeah. People will know this forever. They'll upload it and they'll, mm -hmm. they'll ask you later. So I go to a different gun and I say Sailor say like, Moon. They're like, yeah. No! No! Run! Run! Next, do you have a favorite character? Favorite character. Of mine or just uh, any? Of Robbie's. Of Who's Robbie's? Robbie's? favorite character, character <laughs> that Robbie's plays is himself. And I like it because Aww. he's super, super character -y. He's super funny. The choices he makes when he says his catchphrases are, they make me laugh. Wait, and what's a Robbie catchphrase? Yeah, what's my key catchphrase? Well, there he goes. <laughs> There he goes. There he goes. That's what you say. I was like, wow, there he goes. Which one is right? My favorite Robbie role, I'm going to get real here, is uh, an animatic that he showed me for a pilot that never went. It looked like the coolest flipping show in the world. He sings, he dances, he's Robbie Damon, and uh, I'm very sad that they never made that show. Uh, and, it was... and the world will never see it. Everyone is sad. Thanks. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I love that. I, I absolutely love that world, world, and I love that you showed it to me uh, and broke NDA. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes the good things never go. <laughs> uh, all right, what next? Joker. Hey, I have a question, real quick, real quick. Actually, I want to do, <laughs> do an experiment. <laughs> I wanted to do this. Oh. Um, wait, two questions. Did anybody see Trick Moon? It was a Cartoon Network pilot. Raise your hand if you saw Trick Moon. Cool. One. Uh, no, no, one. no, 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 no. There were 100 people. People in the room. Um, also, uh, on the count of three, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then on the fourth imaginary number, I want everyone to crack their knuckles. What? You ready? Uh -oh. Silence. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah! That was amazing. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes or waffles is the question. <clears throat> I'm gonna choose between two like it's the ending of the good son. I'm not gonna. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't get that one. It's a it's a meme. Mm -hmm. you, you ever heard of it? No. He's, he's kidding. What's a meme? You can't. <laughs> you know TikTok? Do you watch TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, they crack their knuckles on that website. It's oh, scary. That's dope. Pancakes yeah. or waffles? Like, really, it's pancakes or waffles. Can we expand it? Can we make it all uh, breakfast? Uh, all right. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna go crepe, which is basically a a, a, a flat pancake. <laughs> I'll go crepe. What's in your crepe? A crepe. So sweet or savory? So you're answering you're answering pancakes without saying your catchphrase. Basically, right? Right? you're just avoiding it. Did, did, did I hear you. something about delicious crepes? <laughs> no. Sweet after a savory bread. Dang, you're such a crank. I know. <laughs> um, I mean? Waffles, uh, hands down, 100%. Nice. Never yeah. gonna sway is waffles for a day. For me, yeah, waffles are just aerodynamic. They they <laughs> trap the they trap the syrup in it. Yeah. And syrup is the best part yeah. of the waffle. But also crispiness of the waffle. And the crispiness. Versus when I was at USC, they had a waffle maker. Of course. And yeah. my favorite thing Wait, hold on, I have a question. On the, what? Uh, raise your hand if you went to college and they had a waffle maker at your college. See, that's a lot of people. Yeah. It's a thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, a yeah. Thing. it's totally a thing. But they only had it on, I think, uh, weekends. Oh, EVK. Um, and, well, they only had it on weekends, I think. No, every day. Waffle. What? Oh, you were Parkside. I was Parkside. At EVK, you had a waffle. This is the kind of anime content. Yeah. Who else went to USC? Raise your hand. 
Who else lives yes. in Parkside? Who else lives in Parkside? No. no. Did you hear that? Like, no, 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 no. 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 Did not live there. And that's what the place went on at Parkside? Nothing. The place that you didn't want to live in was was New North. I was in R.A. in New North for <laughs> two years. This is great anime content. Uh, so, what was I Waffles. saying? Waffles. Next question. Answer your question. <laughs> he filmed us answering that question, and the question just derailed. He uploads it to YouTube. Does Does a catchy like pancakes or waffles? Also, Max and Ray talk about cafeterias. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe we should go back to Three Headed Expert. Anyway, uh, in the far back with uh, Bona. <laughs> That's you. Just taking a video. You were just. You deny our request for a question? <laughs> I cannot remember the last one. Provide a question for us! Let's now! <laughs> what is your question? Stay, do not leave, stay. <laughs> Sit down. Yes. It'll be uploaded to YouTube with the thumbnail Robbie Frightens Me. <laughs> right behind the phone person. Now think of your question. Ice, 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Slime. <laughs> Choose which one you love most. <laughs> And just like, just a, there's a bunch of Purell that I just made a mess. I, made nice. a Who mess. Is I dropped my microphone. We're doing it. I'll write your new shirt. That was at Anaki. Hello. Uh, what's your favorite line that didn't make it? Favorite line that didn't make it? We could probably answer this one for real, I guess. Oh, uh, like like what you did that like didn't make it up on the cutting of the floor. It's so hard because for, for a lot of anime, we just you just say what it what it is. I'll say uh, my favorite line that I ad-libbed that did make it. Uh, for Genshin Impact, I ad-libbed the beatboxing for the Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday. And you never beatboxed before, right? Never. That's never. amazing. <laughs> never, never. In fact, um. <laughs> But think about this yeah. though, we literally do like, uh, if it's on a show or whatever, or, or a video game in particular, thousands of lines. Sometimes, like, maybe tens? Millions. One millions, billions of lines. So it's hard to know what even like made it or, or, or didn't make I it. I did, I'll tell you, I did four, for the original Persona game, I had the most mm -hmm. lines in the game, I did 4,000 lines for that game. So, so that gives you a good idea of... Yeah. How many lines we may have done over the course? I bet you we've done hundreds of thousands. Oh, easily. Easily. Oh, over hundreds of years? Yeah, years. Oh, yeah. yeah been, been 14 years. Oh my years. god. Yeah, maybe yeah. over a million. Yeah, yeah. One billion lines. Five hundred trillion lines again. Let's do one. It's easier to tell you ones that we know made it. Like, uh, I know in. Well, I think they're all going to be musical. I know in, uh, in uh, Final Fantasy when he did, like, the stairs lead down forever. Like, that one, they were just like, can you just, like, hum like you're nervous? Or say, I was like, I'll sing that song. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, for one that didn't make it for Final Fantasy was uh, Noctis says, it's bedtime when it's time to go to sleep. And uh, in the Chocobo Carnival, he sits down and they had him say something in Japanese like, oh, I'm sitting down. Uh, and instead, <laughs> it's not I got, just an old man in Japanese. I have played in Japanese. His Japanese voice is kind of, oh. Um, and uh, I, I was able to get through the line, it's bench time. Yeah. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, who's got another question? Right there, let's do uh, All in the Isle Green Mask. Okay. Um, video you recommend for a first time watcher of your Twitch channel, and what's some of your favorite games on the sandwich play? I'll give, I'll, give you, I'll give you your money after this to promo. Thank you for the promo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. At Twitch, you're talking about at twitch.tv slash loud annoying. Yes, but there's no website. Twitch.tv slash loud annoying. Let me give you some context if you got drug here by another anime fan and you have no idea what, what this is or where this is or what's happening right now. Usually at cons, and this is a local comment, we usually don't do a lot of Q&As. We usually do a full stage show that we do on the main stage for anywhere from 500 to 3,000 people. And then we do a Sunday panel where we play a bunch of uh, stupid games, but they wanted us to do a Q&A here, so we're Q&A with you, which is still very fun. Um, and we did that for a long time, and then our, along came the, our good friend, the Rona. And uh, we felt like we've got all these great fans, and, um, and they're used to getting entertained by us, so swing by, uh, 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 and we started Twitch, Twitch streaming. And uh, we do that every Wednesday at twitch.tv slash loudannoying. We've got an awesome little community that hangs out with us every time. And um, it's, it's funny, our VODs that other people edit of us get more views than anything else. So I feel like you should probably start there because they're really good editors. We just hop online and say a bunch of dumb stuff. Yep. So we did play Persona 5, uh, half of it in 72 hours. We did. Uh, oh. That's up there. We played all of uh, Final Fantasy 15. We played half of it. Let's clarify. We played half of it twice. Half, twice. twice. Yes. Yeah. Because the first time our save file got deleted. <laughs> So after day, day after day, day, three hours, yeah. that we started an old playthrough, 24 hours in, we deleted our file, and we started over on day two. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. another 40 hours in. So yeah, you should uh, go, on, go on YouTube and type in Loud Annoying, uh, and very, well, our, the name of us, oh, the name of us. Oh yeah, it's uh, Loud Annoying and Very Annoying, you can pick who's who. 
Uh, we go by Lago for short, and oh, you know what else you can start? Uh, uh, you can hop on there, or you can go to uh, my YouTube channel, Robbie Damon, and uh, it's a bunch of vlogs of us running around the world. So I know it's a little format vlogs, but if you want to hop on and get a little bit of know more yeah. you know about us, thank, thank you so much. I don't forget. Yeah. I'll pay you after the show. We'll pay you. <laughs> 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 yeah, right here. Uh, did, your, did you always know you guys wanted to voice act? Did we always know we wanted to voice act? I knew at 18 years, I was just thinking about this yesterday. Uh, it's weird. I was thinking that. So I was a pre-med student for four years in college, and then at the end of Aww. 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 At the end of at the end of four years, I was failing all my classes. I hated. I was going to drop out of college, and I, I switched my major to theater and got my theater degree. And around the same time, I started pursuing voice acting. I got an agent, um, but when I was 18, I took a voice acting class um, outside of college, and immediately fell in love. Uh, it was the only thing I wanted to do um, as soon as I discovered what it was about. I was like, oh, this is the perfect job for me. And then I spent another three and a half years after that banging my head against the wall as a pre-med student. But um, that's okay because here I am now. Uh, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. You did it. Yeah. You could be yeah. one million lines later. Here you, are. you could be elbow deep in someone's guts right now. Yeah, I could but have instead, been. But instead, you're here with us. I could have been saving a human being. Or I could have been killing a human being. <laughs> Not for a purpose. You did, you, you, you did drop out. So <laughs> probably, <laughs> uh, uh, I was, uh, I've been an actor for most of my life, including as a little bitty baby. I got my uh, acting program when I was 10 years old, doing theater. I did that for a very long time. It's my first job. It's what I went to college for on scholarship. I got my undergrad in theater, and then I went and got my master's degree in theater performance. Uh, wrapped that up when I was about 24. Came out to LA when I was 25. And uh, I did some commercials, some TV, a couple of indie movies, and I was like, this is fun. I don't think I can make a living doing this. Uh, but I had always been in love with, uh, I'm like an OG nerd. Like, uh, like, I just moved, and when you move, you find a lot of old stuff you've forgotten about. So I was putting up uh, bookshelves, and I found uh, from 1997, How to Draw Manga. And, uh, and it was like, but it was like 90s style manga. Wow. And I was looking at it, I was like, well, then this is my weave uh, 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 cred pass. Do you know that? <laughs> I bet it was a very popular book. And that's how I draw my, my manga face, is from that book? It's an insanely popular book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I, I always knew that that was an idea. I didn't really understand that it was a job until Final Fantasy X was the game where I was like, well, I know people do cartoons, but that seems like something unreal. That seems like just Mickey Mouse does cartoons. But then Final Fantasy X came out, and it was, I played, I was like, my favorite game of all time. And, uh, and uh, it was fully voice acted, and I was like, whoa, this is gonna be something. Because there wasn't a lot of games like that quite yet, where there was, it was such long form and so much content. So I was like, oh, if this is the way video games are going, then this is gonna be a job that someone's gonna need to do. So that for me was like my big wake up moment. And it always been in the back of my head. And when I got out of grad school, I produced my demos right away, right away. And the same thing, just get a bad agent, get a good agent, do some bad jobs, get better jobs, grind your way up the ladder. And that was my, my run at it. Uh, yeah, very similar to Robbie, a fan of it, but, but also did not know that it was a, a career, a viable career, something you could do. You could look up voice actors on IMDb, kind of. That was like when they were just starting to put video games on IMDb and you can start to track who does what. Um, but to be fair, like when we were coming up and younger, and I'm a little older than the guys, like it was literally, it's still not very many people that do this for a living full time, but uh, it was literally a handful of people. Yeah. Like, like they were just a couple of people doing everything. Yeah. So, um, and there was so much less voiceover that needed to be done. Yeah, correct. You do Duke Nukem, you do 150 lines, you're done with the whole game, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we do 150 lines uh, an hour yeah. uh, for us. Yeah. Or, or you're on a Saturday morning cartoon or an hour oh, yeah, cartoon, yeah. and that was the same dozen people. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. It wasn't until after college, yeah, I, I started looking at uh, things. I, I got started on a website called Voice123, um, and I booked my first thing after six months of auditioning. It was a Russian iPhone hang gliding game, and I booked it because uh, only two people auditioned, uh, and I was the slightly better one, I guess. Uh, the other person, Max Middleman. Whoa! Whoa. 
Did you remember what? What happened? This is like dust for the audio frame. It's me. Oh, what was the name of that game? Do you remember? Uh, it got canceled. Yeah! <laughs> And I bought myself a uh, USB microphone with the $100, so I wasn't just talking into my laptop. Uh, yeah, dark, dark beginnings for sure. Yeah, but that's that. Those things, right? They're all they Is that just candy? candy? What? You're <laughs> <laughs> not paying attention to your question. What's the next question? Let's do it. Let's go way in the back. Yes. Who wins, Saitama or Goku? Saitama. Okay. Next oh, question. Yeah. Was it the red owl? Oh, yeah. Is that a Furby? Nice. What did you say? Can you buy clothes at the soup store? Can you buy clothes at the soup store? If you box clothes at the soup store, you need to get a job. Soup is not wearable. Clothes are also soup. <laughs> so, mushroom soup is also a clothing brand. <laughs> think, thank your mother for <laughs> wearing <laughs> mushroom soup. <laughs> done and done. We did it. We did it. Yes, uh, really good, right there. Hi. A character we auditioned for but did not get. Has that ever happened to you? Did you guys ever audition and not get? Never auditioned for yeah. If I know that it's a character that I'm not going to get, I just don't audition. Oh, that's yeah. so smart. And that's if like I know, so much time. And if I know that it's a character that I want, I just call Mr. Voiceover and I'm like, oh, Mr. Voiceover, yeah, what's up? Bar. Hey, excuse me, I just recently saw this new uh, Superman. Yeah, this new Superman. Yeah, nobody wants to, to play Superman. Can I be him? Oh, yeah, you're next on the list. Come on, Robbie. Mr. Voiceover. Oh, I'm getting another call. What's up, Mr. Miller? Mr. Voiceover, can I be Jimmy Olsen? Yes, you can. Hey, Mr. Voiceover. Hold on a second, things are getting slow. We need a new deck. Hey, Mr. Voiceover. Oh, uh, yeah, what's up? Can I be the voice of Progressive? Ooh, uh, that's been taken uh, for five years. Well, what if you kill them? Uh, if I kill them, <laughs> well, put a hit on one of the boys, you're going to have to uh, give me one of your anime roles. Yeah, how about that? We got some up and comers looking hey, to be the next hey, Goro hey, Kitchi. What's going on here? It's me, the LAPD Cops. <laughs> hey, we're the voice of LAPD Cops, Max Tillman. Hey. <laughs> hey, so uh, how about I give you the role of. Uh, in Kuroko's basketball. In Kuroko's basketball? You got it. Uh, giving it to Jonah Scott. He's going to take it from now on. <laughs> you can be progressives. Great, but who has to marry the progressive guy? That's yes. got to be Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. And that is how you get your favorite role in anime. And that's how you improvise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called Improv with a Voice Actor. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll answer the question that we're being cheeky is every single day we audition and fail to book things. It's like, we do, uh, I don't know, we always forget how many we do, but like 20 to 30 auditions a week, book zero of them, maybe uh, once or twice a month, you book a new thing. It's usually between, and this is just from our agency, a one agency, if you have more than one, we usually do somewhere between 500 and 1,000 auditions a, a, a year. If you're booking one to five, per, or two to five percent of those, you're, you're crushing them in upper yeah. echelon voiceover person. Yeah. A lot of the roles we have, we don't even boy, we don't even audition for anymore. Like you just get, a, you just some of them you get a phone call. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah that does happen. Yeah. Was there one that you particularly liked? Let's answer that question for real. We just did in the three minutes of improv. Let's one that we really liked. I'll just get. I've got an easy one. You knew about that you really wanted and you auditioned but didn't get anyone. I've got an easy one uh, 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 that has a happy ending. Uh, I went through all the rigmarole and audition process for Ultimate Spider-Man back in like the late aughts or something like that, and it, uh, I walked in. I was top five that I knew, and uh, it just it we just got tighter and tighter and tighter until the last five of us there, and everybody else was like a celebrity to me other than me, and I obviously didn't get it. Uh, it went to. Uh, Cancelled. Yeah, right. Uh, it went to Drake Bell, and uh, and then I went and did Comic Con. Uh, eight years later, as the new voice of Spider-Man in Marvel Spider-Man, in which the head of Marvel Animation told me that I was second choice. So, um, yeah, so sometimes you don't get things, and then you get the things that are right for you when they come along. So that was that was mine. I was so sad, because I knew I was so close. But, um, 
But it happened after all. Nice. Guys, you have, they really want an answer. Um, for what, what was that? Something that you really want to continue to end. I can't. Oh. Because the reason it's tough to answer is because somebody else got it. Yeah. And we don't want you to be mad at that person if you like us. You know yeah. what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. Because yeah. somebody else got it. Yeah. I really wanted to be a uh, sex topic, but I was really bad at my audition. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. Uh, Sukuna, I gotta call Sukuna. I'm gonna go back to it. What's your go-to karaoke song? Whoa! Go-to karaoke song is to let Robbie sing. That is the answer. <laughs> What's your go-to karaoke? I like, uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. Oh, never Gonna yeah. Let You Down. Never Gonna Run Around and Desert You. That's uh, uh, I do, I do the three on the reg. I do, uh, ooh, uh, I've seen you do. Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, Rhapsody. Uh, I do Woo! the Tina Turner, Proud Mary. And then uh, if it's a, a sexy karaoke song, I'll do uh, an old 1970s Stephen Bishop song called On and On. Look it up, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Ooh, I'm coming to you next because you threw your hand up so fast I'm worried you maybe dislocated your shoulder. But uh, let's do it right there in the back, yeah. Over to Sai on One Punch Man. Yeah, let's go. Let's steal jobs from our friends. What did you say? Oh, we're gonna steal jobs from our friends. We're gonna steal jobs from our we're friends. We're gonna Steve Jobs our friends. Steve yeah. Jobs. I wanna be the voice of Steve Jobs. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys got one that 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 throughout all history. I mean, but that's the crazy thing is I got to be Roy from Fire Emblem. I played him when I was a kid uh, in the melee days, and the fact that I got to to. Uh, Voice him is uh, a dream come true. I'm done with dreams. My dreams are gone. I got uh, <laughs> yeah, Spider Man is my all time favorite superhero as a kid. When I moved to a new town, I used to trade Marvel Spider Man cards to make to make friends. Oh my god, yeah, and I got to be a Pokemon professor. Uh, yeah, I used to wake up at five me, in the morning. Me too. The bus. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. I used to wake up at five in the morning uh, to before the bus to watch two episodes of Pokemon uh, on uh, on Fox before and, that came out. And I don't know if it's out yet, but I, I'm in Pokemon and I got to say. Such and such and such, do the thing. Like poke, hit Pokemon, do your power. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> hey Pokemon, do your power. <laughs> that in essence is correct. That is true. Yeah. That is the subtext of that line. Yeah. Uh, do you have like one thing that was just like dream come true moment where you still a looking? But dream come true moment. Um, a dream come true. I don't know, I, lo I, love, I love so much of what I do. A dream come true among the Max is eight years younger than me. He still has eight years to make all of his stupid dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> but they've all come true. They are all come like, true. My what? only dream was to be friends with you. I have a You only said that because I said something mean, and then he makes it <laughs> it's, it's a genius dick. <laughs> Next. Oh, wait, but you, right there, yeah. Which is better, knives or swords? Knives? You're holding a knife. Knives are better. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which are better, knives or swords? I like bow and arrow. Oh. Like Woo. bow and arrow? Yeah. 75% of the characters I play wield swords, so I have to say swords. <laughs> yeah, and I will say... I like a, like a nice nerf gun. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Oh, over here, Richard. Okay. Um, what is a character that not a lot of people know that you're really proud of your performance? Yes. What's a character that not a lot of people know that we're really proud of our performance? The Guardian Alone in the Sea was one of my favorite performances. I, we, Max and I worked on 52 episodes of Osomatsu-san. I loved that show. I watched all of them. It took years to dub the whole thing. I'm super, super proud of my work in that as uh, Karamatsu and Dekapan. Uh, I'm very, very proud of it. Not a lot of people saw it because it never went on streaming services. And it's a shame. And this is an anime con, so y'all probably won't know, but uh, I was in a show called Alina of Avalor as a character called Bobo, who was a monkey. I loved that role because I got to sing a couple times. It was really fun. <laughs> I still love breadwinners. Forget you guys. I love breadwinners so much. I don't care how much you guys hate that show. I love that show. It's my favorite. I have more fun of breadwinners than anything ever. <laughs> 2.1 on IMDb. Get out of here. I love that show. 2.1 on IMDb. What? 
It's a two point. It doesn't, I don't think. I think it's two or three. I think I think Thunder Casual beats that. Oh man, you want to fight about it? Huh? No. Uh, Next question, Richard. Let's see who's lower. I'll do it. But I already did that. <laughs> which which anime deserves a redone? Evangelion? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. I did great. <laughs> which anime deserves a redone? Probably One Punch Man. <laughs> <laughs> Get Chris Pratt in here. Oh my god. Wait, wait, he's not done. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's one that hasn't been redone that should be? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. talk about ones that... But I love the... But there was some, there was some really good... Dubs in the 90s, yeah. though, too. Yeah. There were some really good dubs in the 90s. Those were yeah. really good I ones. I love Death Note. I thought that was a great dub. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, obviously, Cowboy Bebop. You know what? I'm going to say Cowboy Bebop because I want to be on it. So <laughs> if they redub it, uh, I, I think it'll be really good. I'd like a chance to uh, to do uh, a redub of the. Even though it's good, it's a good dub, I'm going to redub it anyway. Uh, the, uh, the Ninja Scroll movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, we have. Just about five minutes left, so we're gonna do a lightning round. Put your hands up if you have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for answering my question, by the way. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for answering it. Asking it. If you got a question, put your hands up. Leave them up. One, two, three. Okay. 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 Okay.
What's the best live action Spider Man? Would you this hurtful because a lot of people are filming this and we usually don't let people film this. I will never say that ever. I'll never answer that question ever to anyone. I have never, <laughs> I have never seen the Spider-Man movie. Let's go! Who's your baby? Uh, 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 who's my favorite Spider-Man? Live action. Movie? Yeah. I guess it's live action. Uh, I guess the original. <laughs> yeah, like the very first one. Because that was like I was a kid and I was like obsessed with it when I was younger. Yeah. 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 Uh, did I get over two minutes? Uh, last questions? Yes. Way in the back. What's your favorite colors? Favorite colors. Mm, purple. Mm, purple. Anime. <laughs> <laughs> one more question. Who's got it? Right there. Favorite waifu. Favorite. <laughs> we should answer this question <laughs> as the three-headed experts. <laughs> Oh. Are you an X-Men? X-Men, yes. <laughs> I, I, I am Nightcrawler. Who is our wife? In the anime realm, there were three waifus I dumped. <laughs> My least favorite waifu was my why would you do this to me? <laughs> Turn your mic up, turn your mic up, turn your mic up, it's up to Robbie. Hot <laughs> Sunday